Ladies, people, welcome. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. Today we have I know what you did last summer. Now for those of you guys who are subscribed to the channel, you guys chose this movie for today's reaction. If you guys want to be involved in movie posts, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell so you can be notified when we drop more reactions and when we drop polls. So if you guys want to dictate what we react to next, go ahead and check out the channel and consider subscribing and reacting to a lot of bangers. We have uh, The Strangers, Cloverfield, Final Destination, The Babadook, you name it, man. Go ahead and join the fun. I can't wait to see y'all. With all that being said, um, I don't know. I know I know this movie came out around the era of Scream. Scream was first, and then this movie followed. I know that this movie was uh, after the success of Scream. Movies try to replicate that high school slasher mystery and i believe the creators of scream made this movie i don't know about the film all i know i know the basics i know the basics of the story which is uh they did something last summer <laughs> and it comes back to haunt them so i'm excited man i'm excited and i know and i know you guys are too so sit back, relax, get comfortable, grab a drink. I got myself my sparkling water. Ooh, I'm a slut for sparkling water. Anyways, get comfortable, grab a drink, grab some popcorn, grab some coffee, grab a beer, grab whatever you need to get to get comfortable. And let's jump into this movie. Okay. Jennifer Love. Hewitt, baby. Oh, I love her. Yo, this is a fire shot. What are we closing in on, though? Oh, okay. That is not smart, bro. Being drunk on the edge. What's up? How you doing? Queen finalist. What will be your contribution to your community and the world at large? World peace. Well, Miss Helen Shiver. <laughs> Quick dub. Where is this? My God, bro. I don't. I don't think so. We've been friends since forever. Now you can't just. And you gonna stay as friends? To us. That's my girl. To our last summer of immature adolescent. Decadence. <laughs> Somebody's buzz. <laughs> Yo, chum big. Take a hike. Bro. Fuck him up. Come on, man. Quiet. Help, and the girl stays in the car, and she hears this, like, scratching sound. It's not a scratching sound. It's a drip. 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 No. Oh no, car. he's been decapitated and it's the blood from his severed neck that's dripping on the car and it's going to drip, drip, drip. No, he wasn't decapitated. Look, you're all wrong. American folklore. And they all usually originate from... So that's what this is? An urban legend? Coinciding with your first year as starting quarterback for the Steelers. Cowboys. Whoever. Mm. <laughs> then, we can elope to your phallic symbol. Oh, really? Vibes, bro. Uh, come to New York with me. 
Yeah. Well, we can't all sit in the village coffee house and ramble esoterically on our laptops. It just isn't enough hurry. See, nobody gets me the way you do. I understand your pain. I really hate this. You're gonna go off and you're gonna fall for some head shaven, black wearing, tattoo covered, body piercing philosophy student. That sounds attractive. <laughs> I'll never see you again. Are you sure? Love that pad, bro. <gasps> With the song. Bro, chill out, bro. They hit. It's probably that guy at the cliff, right? I don't know. Is everybody okay? It's not mine. Oh. It must have been a dog or something. Jesus Christ, my fucking car! Fuck! Can't you see where you're going? Look, it came out of nowhere. I didn't see it. Well, you fucking you dropped the damn you bottle. Dear Look, you dropped your bottle. I was just trying to. My dad is gonna freak in my ass. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god, this isn't happening. Where's the body? There it is. I couldn't see him. Look, I swear. Is he dead? I don't know. It is the guy from the... Use your brain, Julie. We call the police and we're fucked. It was an accident. Look, let's think about this a minute. Think about what? <laughs> oh, not do it! Look at me. I'm drunk as shit. What a dilemma. Well, no, it's not a dilemma. Please, let's tell them the truth. They'll believe us. It's manslaughter. Yep. We're gonna fry no matter who takes the fall. Can we leave right now? No way. Are you crazy? The grill's busted. There's blood everywhere. We can clean it up. Come on. Listen to yourselves. No, we are going to the police. We don't have time for your shit. There's some of him on the ah! I love this, but I hate it. Think about it. College, scholarship, peer pressure. The guy's already don't fold. We go to the police, I mean, she can't really do anything against these fucking guys. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. We do. There's no way that down. that truck's gonna see them, bro. Who is it? It's Max. Get rid of him. Yeah, don't drink and drive. Daddy's gonna be mad. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they go through all this trouble. I mean, under duress, you're not thinking straight you're scared you're a kid still still even if his body washes ashore in the next couple of weeks he'll be eaten by crabs and stuff. i don't think i can barry shit we agreed god come on barry it's not too late you shut up just shut up Christ already else this doing. fucking guy What are you doing, bro? Barry! Barry! to God, speak about this again. Is that clear? It is now merely a future therapy bill, agreed? Ellie! Julie? Don't you noise your head, you fucking say it! We take this to our grave! Bro, whoop his ass, bro! You fucking say it. Okay, Barry. We'll Thank God, this guy said to Bro, I would lose it. Punk. A 
whole year later. Damn, I get the computer, laptop. Come on, move your tired, ugly ass, girl. We're late. I'm changing my mind, I'm not going. You're going home for the summer, and you're gonna get a tan on that pasty pale tail of yours. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, going home for the summer. Are you on drugs? <laughs> what? I just wanted to... No, Mom, no drugs. Well, then what is wrong? I mean, you look like death. Yeah, well, I've had a rough year. Trauma. <laughs> well, well. Look what the cat drug in. Elsa. Hi. You know what? I need to talk to Helen, and I was wondering if you could give me her New York number. Her New York number? Helen doesn't have a New York number. If you need to speak with her, I suggest you go to Women's Fragrances, 10 feet to your left. Frightening, isn't it? Never moved. Julie? Julie, we were so careful. Are we? <laughs> That's what you call careful. Who? Well, it's been a year. I don't know. H has Barry seen this? You ever see Barry at school? What are you two doing here? A nice little camera movement there. Hi back. Got the fucking douche. What a crock of shit. We need help. Yeah, I'll say. You know what? You guys should check out a mirror once in a while. You two look like Damn shit run over slim, twice. shady looking mother. You did a lot of things last summer. Yeah, well, only one murder comes to mind. You shut the hell up! <laughs> you get Egan. He was found three weeks after we... His body was caught in a shrimp net not far from Miller's dock. It was in the paper. I think the police called it an accidental drowning. You can call it an accident all you want, but he died because of us, that's certain. Max. Max? What, you think? Who else? He was there. Yeah, what? Jake, now! Look, you shit, we got your little letter. What the hell are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Max! You saw us that night. What the fuck are you on, huh? Jesus! Listen, I'm gonna say this once. I'll fucking kill your ass. I got no problem oh, with that. Get the fuck off me! Get off of me! Understand? Bro, this guy is such a hot head. So, did he admit to the letter? It won't bother you anymore. What did you do? I took care of it, okay? How? I Boy, you didn't do none. Right. So Ray grew up to be a fisherman, huh? Yeah, almost a year now. I'll work on that one over there. Look, I thought a lot about last summer. I know you hold me responsible for what happened. I don't hold you responsible. No, I'm responsible for my own actions, and I don't blame you. Hmm. Uh, hook's gone, baby. First murder. Well, technically, this is the second kill. With the drag, not too shabby. No technique, none. Hello, it's the usual. Hello, is anyone there?
fucking jacket. Oh, it's Letterman. Max, you're fucking dead. Just move to the right, brother. Pretty tough. If he wanted me dead, he could have done it. He's just fucking with us. Who is? I don't know. Some guy in a slicker. Well, that narrows it down. Just being a quaint little fishing village and all. And since you bring it up, we all know you have a slicker. <laughs> you are not gonna throw this on me. Come on, guys, please don't do this. This isn't getting us anywhere. I said we find the fuck who's doing this and have a little one on one. What, like last night, Bear? Fuck you! No, Barry's right. <laughs> Who's ever doing this isn't going to the police. We could find this guy, talk to him. Talking's not gonna work. Susie Willis died of drowning. She was trapped in a car after it skidded out of control in the reefs near Dawson's Beach. The driver, David Egan, was unharmed. I remember he had her name tattooed on his arm. I saw it. Survived by his mother, Claire, and sister, Melissa Egan, of Marable County. I dig it, I dig it. Turn right. Where? Back there. Waiting for us. What if they recognize us? They could have a gun, shoot us dead. It's been a year, Helen. They could have done that already. You know, Jody Foster tried this in a skin with a serial killer at the door. So, it's a badass reference. By the way, we just reacted to Silence of the Lambs. Go ahead and check it out. Can I help you? Oh. Uh, our car stalled down the road, and we were just wondering if maybe we could use your phone. Good comeback. I would have just like, oh. Phone's over there. It's not her. We know the signs. We know the techniques the these movies do. Are you girls from Maribel? If the sign is there, then it's not uh, them. Hang out with this guy? I mean, they're really close. God, what was his name? Um, oh, I, I, I don't know. I, I didn't know too many of David's friends. One guy, he, he stopped by not too long after David's death, and, and he came to pay his respects. Really? Oh, yeah, he was a really nice guy. He was cute and smart. And... Well, we were we were sweet on each other for about two minutes. I don't know. Suspect. Do you remember his name? Billy. Did he have a last name? Billy Loomis. Blue, <laughs> Billy Blue. Well, you know what? Um, we should probably wait back in the car. No, don't be ridiculous. Why don't we uh, stay? No, and we killed a man and then ruined the lives of everyone he knew. I don't think we're that powerful, Julie. You're giving us way too much credit. Oh my god! You forgot your cigarettes. Thank you. Damn, just think it started right up. Funny how that happens. Just fucking drives off. What happened between us? We used to be best friends. Uh, y'all murdered somebody? That's what happened. I miss you. This guy. Casually walking in. <laughs> Fire. Everyone's a dick here. Just my language, man. My language. I'm sorry. Did this guy stay there the whole night? What 
the fucking crown on her. North Carolina answers my question. Oh, he's dead. Don't ask me he, that again. He was dead. He's we not going to be there now. He's not going to be there. He's not going to be there. And clean. No, don't. Don't even. He was there, God damn it, and he was wearing your jacket, Barry. For that. He's just out there and he's watching us and waiting. What are you waiting for, huh? <laughs> what are you waiting for? That little spin, huh? Guys, you're going to die. He's lying! Leave him alone, Barry! Get a grip! No, wake up, Julie! He's behind this! How many fucked up fishermen are out there? Look, he's after me, too! I got a letter. <laughs> oh, you got a letter? We think his name is Billy Blue. How do you know that? Missy said there was a friend named Billy Blue. Also was class of 92. Maybe there's something in her yearbook. That's him, huh? No. No, you need to be there in case he shows up. I don't want him to show up. Look, Helen, this could be our chance. Okay, we could catch him. <laughs> Bro, this guy Pop up. Or do you have a knife? Ah. What an absurd outfit. There he is. We got a clear look at his face. What happened to your brother wasn't an accident. There's more to it than that. I know. You know what? Well, he killed himself. He what? Yeah, he, he went up there to die that night. That's where Susie died. See, the whole town blamed him for her death. So he blamed himself. But how do you know it was a suicide? He left his note. Mm. This isn't a suicide note. This is a death threat. But he's my brother drowned. I saw him. He had Susie tattooed on his arm. Tattoo? He doesn't have a tattoo on I his arm. I saw it on his arm. You didn't say arm. anything. Get out of here. He doesn't have a tattoo. Get out of my okay. I'm intrigued. 
wasn't your brother. He wasn't your brother. <laughs> yep. Things are about to get real. <laughs> There's nobody up here. I gotta tell you, this is really not my idea of a funny joke. He's he was here. Who? Who was the fisherman? He? he he killed Barry. Barry who? Bro, and there's nobody outside. Take that. Listen, I'm just gonna be a minute. All right. I'm gonna see if this fella needs help. <laughs> What's the trouble? That's him! Behind you! Behind you! Oh! Car driver unharmed, survived by her father Benjamin, a local fisherman. Benjamin, the father of. So the father of Susan is a killer. He was probably going after. And then. He saw Why don't you run? Damn, this sister is so one dimensional, bro. It's kind of annoying. Ah, she about to get it. Ah! Oh Tough. Those big fans of the nice touch to this set. Ha! <laughs> oh! Fire shot. She's she's a goner. Fire. Gonna pop out. We didn't kill 
David Egan. It was someone else on the road that night. What are you talking about? I think it was Susie's father, Ben Willis. He's a fisherman. Yeah, but they found David's body in the water. Yeah, I know, but I think Ben Willis killed David Egan. But wait a second. You, you think this Willis guy killed David, then we killed him? Yeah, but what if he didn't die, Ray? What if he's still alive? What? This is crazy. It's not him. It's not him. Easy, child. Please, I need to call the police. It's him. Yeah, so the father was trying to kill the boyfriend, which was David. Yes. Think. Getting away with murder, things like that. Yeah. You. Been Willis. Good. So you've been doing your homework too. Oh, I decide. <laughs> Can you swim? Who's? Who's? Fisherman. Is that ice? What is that? Oh, it is ice. Is that ice? Oh wait, is that him? My bad. I, I I was paying attention, but I'm I'm think I'm just getting the names mixed up. So they was. didn't kill him. That's why I went to see Missy. I'm sorry I didn't tell you, but I wanted you. I love you, Julie. Hmm. No one gets me the way you do. <laughs> I understand your pain. Right. The body will turn up. They usually do. Another year. No, of course I love you more. Yes, I do. I love you, and you know that. But you know what? I've got to take a shower. I'm really late. Hey, Julie, you got the mail. Oh, thanks, Deb. <laughs> Sick. 
sequel. Oh. <laughs> That's tough. It's fire. I still know. <gasps> Guys, this movie was This movie was something, man. <laughs> I don't know where to start. You know, I'm just going to go right off the bat and I'm going to say, you know, of course, some of the acting wasn't up to par. Cheesy dialogue in some moments. The mystery behind it was okay. I just think that maybe the writing is what kind of ruined this film for me. The killer reveal, first of all, wasn't even, it didn't really impact the story like it, it was intending to. You know, you like, in, of I, I believe they were trying to maybe do something different, trying to follow, you know, in Scream's footsteps. If these are the creators who created Scream, maybe they were trying to go a different route by not having the killer in the friend group. Or at least someone that they know. I feel like that does. That is a big part of a killer reveal. Is that they're somehow connected to uh, the main characters in some way. Because then the reveal is much more impactful when you. When they were hiding there in plain sight. So here we were uncovering this mystery. But it was of a character that we didn't even see up until the very end. It was a good all right film it had its moments like i said this film what it was trying to go for was 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 okay but you know some of the shots were fire i love the environment i love just the 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 setting and where we're in a fisherman come on that's pretty cool um but like i said it just could have been executed a lot better just i i guess it's the writing um I feel like it was missing a couple more characters just to kind of put some um, different layered characters in here because Julie was the only one that had layers to her. Everybody else was one dimensional and they were flat characters and maybe they did that so that way Julie can be can shine a little more as the main character in which I, I believe she did. Jennifer, mm, beautiful. The kills were okay nothing too crazy i mean for at the time um a sequel at that ending there i don't know what the sequel can be am i interested in the sequel not really will we react to it i might need you guys to decide so if you got if you guys want control on what i react to next and you guys need to be the ones to knowledge me on the sequel, if it's good or not, if it's worth my time. So comment down below, let me know what you thought of this film. And, and yeah, man, talk to me. I try to respond to all comments. I uh, appreciate you guys if you guys stayed this long into the video. If you guys are a fan of movie shows and trailers, check out the channel, man, because our videos are, are coming in quick, weekly. I'm excited for us to grow together. So all in all, this movie was okay. I don't know what else to say. I mean, out of out of out of ten, a five, four? I'd say a four. A four. Jennifer is the only reason why I, I enjoyed this movie. It's just to look at her beautiful face. I'm simping over her. But anyways, thank you guys for staying this long into the reaction. And I will see y'all in the next one.